Hey guys, it's me Dave. It's, uh, what is it? What is it? 1 8? I can't see. I make my eyes so blurry, I can't see anything. I think it's 1 8 2022. So, cheers. I'm having a drink uh, tonight just to help me sleep a little bit. Um, just a little. I only had a, a little alcohol, so um, hopefully I'll be able to get to sleep and get a little buzz on, but um, not really counting on it. Um, I didn't make a video last night I was going to and stuff and, and I started to make a video and my phone crashed because this phone's junk. So get this. Okay, so I bought a phone like three weeks ago already um, off Walmart. Unlocked phones. But it w they go through one of their dealers or whatever and the phone didn't work with my SIM card. I liked the phone. It was a Windows phone. I, I liked it a lot. Okay, so I sent it back, and they haven't refunded my money, and it's been, like, two weeks. So, like, I got ripped off from them guys. My SIM card wouldn't work in the phone. So, I got to get a T-Mobile phone or a, or a Metro phone uh, for my SIM card to work. I didn't know that at the time. And this was a cricket phone. So, it's like, I got ripped off, you know, 50 bucks, you know. So, it just sucks, I'm telling you. So I'm still using this crappy phone. I, I do not like it at all. It's junk. I can't call anybody. I, I lose signal, drop calls. Um, I can't hardly send texts. It's just, it's junk. And I paid like 60 bucks for this phone from um, Mint Mobile. I had them for a few months and um, I thought their service was crappy, but it turns out it's the phone. The phone is junk. So anyway, but as far as targeting goes, I'll talk about targeting now. As far as targeting goes, um, it hasn't been that bad the last couple days, but they did hit me last night, um, yesterday, about around supper time, around 4 p.m. They hit me. Um, I laid down an hour before supper. Um, sometimes I do that. Um, they make me tired all the time, you guys. They make me tired all the time. Believe me, I would rather be out doing something or taking the dogs out or whatever, but they, they do make us tired all the time and make us dragging all the time. Um, you know, for whatever reason, uh, I guess so the weapons work easier on us or something. And, um, so I laid down for an hour and they hit me with pulses. I could feel the pulses through my whole body. Um, uh, my head, my chest, my midsection area here. I could feel the pulses, um, go through my body. Uh, almost like they did when they sent me to the hospital last February. I went to the hospital. Uh, they were doing super fast pulses through my whole body and all this stuff. And images in my head. Super, super, super fast. Um, you know, trying to break you. I don't know. I don't know what they're trying to do. Um, you know, I've been thinking about this uh, last couple of days, you know. Um... You know, sometimes I wake up in the morning and I, and I can't believe I'm a TI. Uh, I can't believe I'm in this program. I can't believe the things they've done to me. Um, <coughs> you know, sometimes I wake up and I'm just, I can't believe it. Uh, you know, I, I have to deal with this every single day. And we have to deal with this every single day. You know, it gets old. Um, I couldn't imagine working um, when you're going through this. Uh, especially if you're getting hit hard and all this stuff. I think holding a job would be very difficult. Um, you know, I would like to work a couple days a week at least, but uh, they just won't let it happen. They're just not going to let it happen, you know, and stuff. So, but, uh, so, you know, sometimes I wake up and I can't believe I'm in this program. I just, I, you know, and then I think about all the bad things they've done to me. Lit my van on fire, gave me a heart attack. Uh my head I don't know you probably can't see but they yeah can you see that you see that right there you see that right there that's what they did you see those marks right there that's what they did to my head they crushed my temples in right there you see that see that mark they did that and then they took a laser chewed up my head all up here you know so they um destroyed my head and i have to look at that every time i shave 
you know, and thinking, what, what the hell, these guys are getting away with murder, and they destroyed my head, you know. So I have to look at that. Every, every time I shave my head and shave my face, I got to look at that, you know, in the mirror and stuff and it just it, it's it blows me away you know um the only thing they haven't done to me yet is give me a stroke they haven't given me a stroke yet they gave me a seizure type thing one time uh where my body was shaking un uncontrollably and all this stuff you know give me a seizure type thing one time uh they made my heart pump out of my chest so hard i thought the i thought it was going to come out of my chest um i was i couldn't even catch my breath hardly that was in the hospital. They did that. You know, so they've, they've done some major trauma things to me um, in the last six, seven years. Um, it's hard to believe I'm still here. You know, really, it's hard to believe I'm still here. Uh, especially with the heart attack thing, you know. Um, they gave me a heart attack, and I didn't call 911 right away. You know, I was I was hoping it would go away. The feeling would go away. It didn't didn't go away. Called 911. The operator was super nice. She's like, "Do you want to, do you want me to stay on the phone with you until they come there, and all this stuff?" And I'm like, "Well, no. I'm, I'm sitting down, and I'll be okay." And the fire department came. The ambulance came, and they took me away. And they put the sirens on all the way to the hospital uh, because I was a priority um, because of my heart attack. And they gave me two IVs, and they gave me two more IVs when I was in the hospital, and doing ultrasounds, and all this stuff, chest x-rays, and they're doing, oh my god, all tons of stuff. And then they got me in surgery within 15, 20 minutes. And then I felt better. But then they kept me up for two days afterwards. They torched me, they had me in a room with a perp, and he was keeping me up for a night. And the first night I spent in ICU, and then the next night, I went to, um, I went to, uh, uh, the next night I was in a regular, uh, you know, I was on the heart floor, uh, in a regular hospital bed, and then they had a perp in there, playing his TV super loud, validating his technology, banging and all this stuff. They had a nurse banging all over, and they had a nurse come in there every hour to keep me up. Every hour, she'd come in there and keep me up, you know, and stuff. And, you know, it, it's, you know, another thing I was thinking about today, too, is, like, what do they tell these people? What do they tell them? You know, um, they have gotten some ex-girlfriends involved uh, for reactions. Um, you know, I've been single for 11 years, guys. But... They've gotten my old girlfriends involved. You know, they have them at the gas station. They'll have them drive by me. They'll have them, you know, wherever I can see them or people or past co-workers where I could see them. And they use a lot of people from our past to get reactions out of us. Um, and they do that a lot in my program. Um, they'll use my old friends that I haven't seen in 20 years. Tell them to stop by and I'll BS with me for a while. And then they'll hit me. When they leave, they'll hit me super hard and almost send me to the hospital. You know, it's it's unbelievable. They do all this stuff, and they track these people down and all this stuff, and probably pay them. And I don't know what they tell them. What do they, what do they tell them? You know, what do they tell them? Um, you know, they know I'm not a child molester. They know I'm not a criminal. They know I don't do drugs. They know, you know, they know all that stuff because I grew up with these people. They know I'm not none of that stuff. So what do they tell them? What do they tell them to get them involved? I don't know. Do they tell them, you know, when I was in the, in the fake psych ward, they, one guy acted, this is probably street theater, but one guy acted like he had a problem with perpy me. And he went to the nurse and, and said, I can't do this and all this stuff. And, um, you know, and the nurse is like, you got you to gotta look at it as a practical joke. Look at it like a, uh, like a practical joke. You're playing on him, and that's how you deal with it. So are they telling these people? It's, it's like a pl practical joke, you know. It, you know, is that what they're saying to these people? It's like a pl practical joke, you know. I don't know. They, you know, they tell me certain things in my program and and stuff, and um, you know, I don't know what they're telling them, uh, especially my friends and my ex-girlfriends and people I worked with and 
you know, stuff like that. They get them all involved, all involved in pounding, banging, and slamming their doors super hard, and all this stuff. And my sister sending me messages because I sent her a picture. <coughs> but uh, so that's what's going on. Not much going on. I did get hit a little bit yesterday. Um, today's not been too bad. Uh, they let me catch up on sleep, um, which I always appreciate that. Um, because it's so cold up here, which wasn't that bad today. It was 25 degrees above zero today, so it wasn't that bad today. I took Max out, he went potty. Um, the poor little guy, uh, he got a haircut in a bath, and the poor little guy was shaking when I put him back in the truck. So I'm sitting here cranking the heat because he's sitting on my lap just shaking his little butt off. So uh, we went for a little ride around town and stuff, killed a little time, and and stuff like that tonight and um then we came home and uh we're kind of sitting around till about eight o'clock and i made a drink and having a couple of drinks and that's probably it and i'll probably hit the sack pretty early um if i can sleep they might not let me sleep so anyway that's what's going on with me not a whole lot going on with you guys, with me you guys um i hope you guys are doing well out there hope you're staying safe i hope you know, this is a depressing time of the year for a lot of people because of the holidays and all this stuff. And then we're TIs, we're going through a little more than regular people. Um, so hang in there, you guys. Stay positive. Um, you know, maybe, maybe, you know, I, I've been looking for new articles about the Havana Syndrome and all this stuff. There hasn't been anything new um, and stuff. So um, hang in there. Maybe something else will come out here soon and stuff and um so i suppose i'll cut this off you guys and i'll, I'll talk to you guys later